Olympic all-around final. I'm really nervous. That's to be expected. I did have therapy this morning, so I feel a little bit better. Uh, I've just worked so hard mentally to get to this moment. I'm like, fuck. The back of my neck hurts real bad because I burnt myself with my hot comb a couple times. So let's beat this face. Tonight I start on vault. And I honestly think that's the event that I'm most nervous for because I don't want to overpower it. I'm doing the Yurchenko double pike, which is also known as the vials. Actually, the vials two on vault. Let me just tell you, Rebecca's good, bro. Like, she's good. And I would say she's my top competitor. We are very similar scores overall. And I haven't had competition like this in a while. But I am really excited to be competing and rotating with her. She's super sweet. And she's overcome a couple injuries. So to see her back out here and amazing. So I'm excited. It'll be a good one. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. And welcome to Where's Your Warehouse, man. Um, let's get to it, man. Uh, Simone Biles, as you all know, won the gold medal uh, in the all-around event, and she did it twice now in the all-around event. Two-time gold medalist in the all-around. She is the first um, since Vera uh, Kaslaka, uh, something, something like that. I don't know how to say that name, but she was the first woman since then. In 1968, that was the last time we saw somebody actually go back-to-back. -back. Um, to win uh, two Olympic all around. So it's very rare company. Nadia Komaneki, um didn't win gold in 80, 1980, but she uh, was like Suni Lee. She got on the podium twice. We'll talk about Suni Lee in a different video though, but they uh, Suni Lee did get bronze. So if y'all wanted to know, she did get bronze. So salute to Suni Lee for what she did here, man. Um, I think Nadia got like silver in 1980. Um, yeah, she got silver in the 1980 Olympics, following up her gold in 1976, man. But uh, Biles really like this was a tougher one for Biles because uh, Rebecca Andrade, salute to her, man. She was giving uh, she was giving her some go. It really Simone Biles started to create the distance on the third event. Um, to be honest with y'all, she actually created the distance. The uneven bars is her weakest event. This is why the field was shortening up after the second rotation. But once we got out of the second rotation, man, Biles was like the third or fourth rotations was like unbelievable, man. The beam, um, and then the floor routine. And her floor routine has been off the charts this year, man. So we knew if the floor was last, like, there's no way you're going to beat Simone Biles. But Simone Biles had a really good vault in the beginning, too. We're going to talk about her vault performance in um, her floor individually in two other videos. But, uh, yeah, man, Simone Biles makes history today. Two-time Olympic gold medalist, man. We hadn't seen it since the 60s, like I was telling y'all before. Um, and a lot of it has to do, see, like, in gymnastics, man, because most of the athletes are um younger you don't typically see um older athletes especially older athletes that good in gymnastics like Sim like simone's a real breed she's still good at 27 bro that's not the norm though for someone to be that elite at that age but i think it was interesting what Sumi lee said they got better as they aged i wonder if we will start seeing some girls um start to maybe keep themselves in shape in their 20s deeper into their 20s so that they could do what simone did and last a little longer because i would like to see more familiar faces in gymnastics like one of the things that i always hate about gymnastics is you always got like new faces like it's not like swimming where you get katie ledeggy michael phelps or whatever or caleb dressel like you get the same faces like at least two or three olympics in a row like you know um i would like to see more same faces like we saw this year with Suni Lee, Simone Biles, Jordan Childs, and uh, Jake, um, Jay Carey. So, um, and we'll see. But before we continue, man, um, just want to make a reminder. All of the events, uh, including the individual events coming up over the weekend and on Monday, 
they will be on my patreon i don't have them up just yet so there will be a link in the description box when they are up or you can just check on the patreon itself go to the collection tab i got a i got a uh, separate section for simone bios on there so you just go over there and you can catch all of the events in their entirety because i'm uploading the whole entire events um as one telecast so um including the metal ceremony so you can go watch it over there i may have it up in a few days give me a few days because i'm behind but i'm gonna have the uh, qualifiers the team event uh tonight's all around in the individual so i'll see y'all on patreon all you gotta do is sign up to see the events i'm gonna leave one of them as free but the other ones you gotta pay for on there so i'm letting y'all know that heads up right now um all around will probably likely be paid for but i might do the qualifiers as free so uh either the qualifiers or the team event we'll see but um to end this video man um what capped it for Simone Biles was that vault. She got a 15.766, um, not not uh, capped it, but that that strong 15.66766 on the um, on the vault, and that mass performance on the floor to ca to uh, capture the um, the second all around goal. And it's funny because the floor was also on Tuesday for the team medal. That's how she also clinched the victory as well. So man the, the, that floor routine was amazing bro like it was just it was just freaking amazing and the thing for me was i never did i'm gonna be honest with y'all i never did get like spooked or worried for because like there was a lot of like talk okay is simone biles gonna lose to rebecca andrade or one of these other girls or even Sumi lee herself i was like no like no <laughs> If you know so, so, uh, small Biles, the uneven bars is just her weakness. So that was the only reason why for a brief second the door was left open. But I was like, you still got to beat Simone at the beam and on the floor. And that's not happening unless Simone Biles is having a rare bad night of gymnastics. And she wasn't. I, I could tell she wasn't by the way she was doing her vault. So I was like, nah, she's zoned in. Simone's been waiting for this for three years. She didn't. She didn't come back to just take silver or bronze like she came back to win gold bro and i was really surprised that people were even worried like that man like i i, I couldn't believe it but this is the good she's a gold for a reason she deserved to wear that gold not that that gold necklace that she had on man so uh shout out to simone man she she is that you will never see another one like her man the, the crowds that have been showing up the celebrities the i saw the u.s men's team watching her tonight like it's it's just amazing man salute to simone man for real for real salute to simone um last thing i want to end off with this video is 2028 is she going to come back for which should be the last olympics for sure it's la it's a chance to perform again at home She'll be 31. I think she's going to lose some skills by then, which is the only thing. And it's going to be a longer layoff because it's going to be four years as opposed to three. But I think if she keeps in shape, I think she can. If, if, if Even if she's not that good on the all around, I think at least she could contribute to the team and get a, a medal in the individual events. She might even still be able to get silver or bronze in the all around. I mean, she'll just be 31. I, I, to me, 31 is still in your prime. It is on the wrong side of 30, but I definitely think if she keeps in shape, she's all ready to go. I think she can. I think she could do one more, man. Let me know in the comment section if y'all think she should do one more. Give me your thoughts as a whole, man. I'm going to end this video. I'm going to go to the Patreon to watch the full events. I'm going to have them in their entirety. I think I'm using an international feed instead of the NBC feed, though. I think I'm using the NBC feed for the uh, qualifiers, but the rest will be um, the international feed and the medal ceremony as well, on there as well. So I'll see y'all over there, man. Cash app is, has been on the screen for y'all as well. If y'all want to donate, go on ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe. Y'all thank y'all for watching Retro Warehouse.